chickpea mash slash scramble with green peppers, and then sauteed oyster mushrooms, wonderfully seasoned by the way. Hi beautiful, it's Cecily of Operation Fibroid Freedom and today I'm sharing with you an alkaline vegan recipe. We're kicking off the alkaline vegan challenge in my free Facebook group for goddesses who are shrinking fibroids naturally. Today the, the recipe on deck is chickpea mash, sauteed oyster mushrooms, and some sauteed arugula from my farmer's market haul, which I have another video for on this channel. First I started off by slicing the oyster mushrooms and sauteing them in avocado oil. You can hear the beautiful sizzle in the background. These are very simple. Many uh, have preferred to have this particular mushroom fried, but I went ahead and sauteed them today with a little fresh cracked black pepper, a little onion powder, a little paprika, pink Himalayan sea salt. And at the very end, you will see a little green parsley right here. It made for a nice flavor. Then I moved on to my freshly farmed and harvested arugula, giving it a nice rinse there in my sink and chopping off the ends. And I just did a quick three rough chops so that I had large pieces of the leaves still visible. It's just my preference. I went ahead and added those to my saucepan with avocado oil. And you wanna keep your eye on these because they're gonna cook down really fast, pretty much in less than a minute. As you can see, they're going to start to uh, wither and wilt, which is what we want. So you just keep stirring them. And at this point, you can go ahead and turn off your fire. You can add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt if you'd like here. Um, if you'd like to add any other seasonings, you can, but I prefer not to. And uh, don't think you should throw away these little roots. I save the stems and use them for juicing. I went ahead and sliced up some uh, bell pepper and sauteed that in a little avocado oil. And I added uh, almost a full can of chickpeas. And it's really that simple as it's sauteing. I just started to smash the chickpeas with a fork. This is one of those go-to meals that I make when I want something savory for breakfast or if I just want something warm and not cold and I don't have time to make anything extensive. I really love, this is a great meal to have in my back pocket because it's really easy. It seems like it doesn't taste good and it tastes way better than it might look. So just smash it up here as you can see. It's okay if some of the uh, chickpeas are not smashed. And then I just went ahead and began to evenly disperse the green peppers around the pan so that everything is mixed together. Once I got the smashing and mashing of the chickpeas to my desired consistency. You may want to add a little bit more avocado oil or grapeseed oil if you prefer. I went ahead and added a little paprika. I definitely added some onion powder, a little pink Himalayan salt, and any other seasonings from the approved Dr. Savy Nutritional Guide. And this is my finished product. Isn't that beautiful? Imagine this instead of scrambled eggs, or even on um, alkaline vegan nachos. And voila, this is my finished, beautiful, alkaline, healthy plate. Got a nice mixture of everything. See my beautiful chickpea smash. Such a great dish, so easy. Um, and the chickpea smash is very versatile. As I mentioned, you can incorporate that into a lot of other dishes on or outside of the alkaline vegan uh, menu. But I hope you enjoyed the recipe. There's many more to come. Make sure you are liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. My chickpea mash slash scramble with green peppers and then sauteed oyster mushrooms. Wonderfully seasoned, by the way. And then I've got sauteed arugula. Very simple, fresh from the farmer's market. Let's kick off this alkaline vegan challenge. Let's get it.